Okay. So, um, another package came today. Um, well, actually, it came yesterday. So I'm just now getting it. I'm not sure what this is. What the hell? I'm... I'm confused. These are... Backer cards. Lots of backer cards. What else is in here? Okay. Okay. Backer cards. More backer cards. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got... Twelve backer cards. Well, that's nice. Because some of my comics don't have those. Um, but the actual thing is in here, so they, like, super protected it. Okay. Yay! <laughs> it is the first issue of Halloween Night Dance. So now I just need issues... Two, three, and four. I'm gonna see if there's any other backer cards in here, and there's not, but there's bubble wrap, and I'm happy about that because I love bubble wrap. Okay, so my last package came today, and it is one of the things that I was the most excited for. It is... The Making of George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. Um, I love books like this about, you know, the making of various horror movies. And there's lots of pictures, posters, behind the scenes photos, all kinds of goodies in it. And it is over 200 pages. And it's all about Day of the Dead, which is my favorite of Romero's zombie movies. This is probably only going to take a couple days for me to read. Uh, because I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on diving into it, like, right away. <clears throat> Over 250 full-color photos. And... It covers the entire filming and everything, so I'm all giddy about this. I kind of, I'm sure there's some out there for um, Dawn of the Dead and Night of the Living Dead, but I kind of hope that books come out for Land to Diary and Survival. Even though I don't really like Survival, I would still gladly read about it, just because I'd I want to know what was going through George's head when he decided to make that, because it was a total mess. Um, but yeah, that is everything until September or so. Um, so yeah, thank you for, uh, for watching, and there will be plenty more to come, eventually. <laughs> okay. So, another package came today, and Mom accidentally opened it because I ordered it from her Amazon account with the rewards points. Um, so yeah, it came addressed to her, and she thought it was something for her, and she was like, what the hell is this? And then she opened it, and was like, oh, that's not mine. Um, there's a lot of tape on this. Okay. So, it is issue number four of Halloween Night Dance. So now, I have... Ugh, the first issue and the fourth issue, and I have the third issue on the way, because I ordered that on my Amazon, with my being reward points. Um... Hopefully I can get the second issue soon, and then I can just read all of them back to back. I was kind of hoping to get, like, the, uh, the, the paperback that had all four issues in it because it has another short story slash comic in it as well, but 
that's like 30 something dollars at least. So I just decided, uh, maybe I'll get that someday, but for now I'll just get the individual comics, which is fine. Um, but yeah, it should be here any day now. A new package came today, and I know exactly what it is, so there's no real element of surprise. Okay. What is this? Oh, receipt thing. It is... Issue number... Oh, I am so glad I got this cover. I'm really happy that I got this cover. Issue number three. So now I have one, three, and four. I just need to somehow get my hands on issue number two, and then I can go through and read them all. Probably in one sitting. Um, because that's how I like to go through comics. I don't like to read one issue and then like a month later read another issue or something. I like to just da -da 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 go through. Um, I'm kind of the same way with TV series. I don't like to wait a week for each episode and then wait like six, seven, whatever months in between seasons. I would just, I would much rather watch season one as it airs. And then if I like season one, then I wait until the show was pretty much finished, and then I just binge the entire thing. Of course, people really suck when it comes to spoilers and things, so that is a bit of an issue. I always have a problem with that. Um, but I don't... I, I like waiting. I'm weird like that. I'm not one of those impatient viewers. I'm okay with waiting and just letting the whole thing hit me at once. And, um, but yeah, it's the same way with comics and TV shows. And now that I'm ranting, I'm going to cut myself off right there, and I'm going to end this. Um, I'm really, really excited for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow was August 20th. Um, I'm excited for tomorrow and for the day after tomorrow. Because it is Paracon, and I'm going to meet Robert Lazardo. Let's see, I made a list of people that I really want to meet. Um, Robert Lazardo, Erica Irvin, Eugene Clark, Alex Vincent, Zach Galligan, William Cat, and I do not know if I'm pronouncing this right. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. Um, Jared Vunovic, or Vunovic. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he, he had like a really small role in American Horror Story and a couple of other things. He's kind of like a blossoming actor, I guess. And he apparently lives in my area, which is kind of neat. But yeah, I'm hopefully going to be meeting all seven of them. Um, Dennis Rodman was supposed to be there, but he canceled. Um, but, uh, but oh well. Um... At least the others are all going to be there. I still don't know all the photo op prices, though, which is, yeah. Um, it should come out to about $200 for the photo ops and the pictures. Like, I mean, photo op thing and pictures. Photo ops and autographs and things with all seven. Um, Robert Lozardo, $30. Erica Irvin, $35. Alex Vincent, $25. Jared Vunovich, $15. Um, and then I'm guessing the others are... 30 each, so 65, 95, 120, 150, 180, 195, so yeah, about 200 bucks, um, which is, is not too terrible, uh, and Robbie's probably gonna be paying for those, and I have like 160, 180 bucks, uh, if we see any cool things there, which we probably will, I'll just blow the money on awesome collector's items and things, um, it's not as expensive as, uh, Paracon, the big one, was. That was about, like, six, seven hundred dollars altogether. It was nuts. Um, and I'm ranting again. Ah, oh, God, I need to learn how to shut up. Um, alright, well, uh, thanks for watching. 
if I can stop the damn thing. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. We have a package. And we switched spots, which mm -hmm. is a little unnerving. Mm -hmm. We should do that, like, with every other clip. I'm on one, I'm on this side, and then the one after that, I'm on the other side. So people get, building people get, people get like disoriented because I keep switching, and they're like, "Stop!" What, am I, what, what is, is this? this? Shrink wrap. What it is? What am I here? This one there. The... Oh. Cool. Yeah. I looked over there when I could have just looked here. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. My jaw is hurting. Okay. So now I have book one, book two, and book three. I need book four, but now I can actually start reading them. Um... I have Road Trip, Mother's Day, and the Carnival, and now I just need Jason's Curse, which I'm pretty sure it's the fourth one. Might be the fourth one. Well, I- oh, they're packed away, they're in boxes, crud. By Eric this- what, the... what was that? <laughs> This was kind of hard to come by. Um, these Eric Morris Friday the 13th books have been out of print since the 90s. Um, since I was like two years old. And, ew, I'm old. Um, I wonder, I, I wonder if this number still works or if probably the not. still works. Probably not. Mm. Um, but yeah, the, these books, the four... Crystal Lake books by Eric Morris have been out of print for decades. Um, one dollar and seventy-five cents for one book, seventy-five cents for each edition. Oh, fuck. Uh, but they're usually more expensive. They're usually like thirty or forty plus dollars now. I've seen them yeah. go for like a hundred something, and so. I was surprised when this showed up on Amazon for like 98 cents with 3.99 shipping. But I'm broke right now. So I panicked and I was like, I don't have money. I, I can't get this. Fuck, what am I going to do? <laughs> um so I hurried up and I went to Bing cuz I have the Bing rewards thing. And so I quickly cashed my points for five dollars, and I transferred that five, I got that five dollars for, on Amazon, and so I had five dollars on Amazon, and the book was four dollars and ninety-eight cents altogether, so I had two cents left over, so if it had come out to five dollars and a penny, I wouldn't have been able to get it. Mm. Um... Yeah, so I I got mega lucky. I'm th thank you to whoever sold it for not having the price be one dollar and one cent or one dollar and two cents mm. because I wouldn't have been able to get it if it had just been like three or four cents more. Um, but yeah, now I have one, two, and three. Hopefully, I can get the fourth one pretty soon. But I hope it doesn't show up until after I get my money in September. If it shows up before then, I'm not going to be able to get it and I'm going to cry. Um, but I I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get the fourth one before the end of the year. But uh, for now, that is all of the packages that I've been waiting for. That came surprisingly fast. I just ordered that like four days ago. Um, but yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.